All right, let's get going. It is Eric Arnold here in the Sports Barn, the Sports Barn, the primary studio on Wednesday, uh, April the 14th, probably a little short of 9 a.m. Uh, we've got MLB picks here for you on this Wednesday. Uh, we had a break even Tuesday, uh, so let's, uh, I guess, cover that quick. I've, uh, I mentioned in a recent video that I, mean, I want to get my hands on some more cheap MLB clothing like this. You know, I found this in my closet uh, that uh, my wife picked up at Walmart. And I think she picked this up like, you know, two years ago. Ryan Howard's been retired out of Philadelphia now for at least five, six years. But, you know, uh, the local Walmarts get all this Philadelphia Phillies gear that uh, they inventory they couldn't sell. So, you know, they give it away for like five bucks or something. So, yeah, so here's my Philly shirt. They got swept in a doubleheader last night, of which we had the first game. We had the Mets. So, yay, Phillies. Um, what else happened yesterday? Uh well, let me pull that up just to refresh my memory. And it's not here, of course. I'm not prepared. But uh, I guess we had, uh, I was busy last night. I didn't have a lot of time to look at the baseball, uh, other than the scores. Um, the Mets, they covered for us. Uh, the Cubs, that was one of our top plays. They covered for us. Uh, I saw that. Uh, St. Louis was the other top play we had. They got buried. Uh, or should I get that backwards. Washington was our play. And they got buried by St. Louis. Uh, and then our other one was, uh, oh yeah, Pittsburgh. Uh, again, got that backwards. We had the, uh, the Padres. And I, I do not trust Blake Snell. Uh, I, I guess it's because he came out last year during the pandemic while they were debating whether they should play, how much would they get paid, what kind of season would it be, and MLB and the Players Association, you know, being who they are, basically, bickered back and forth for two months, uh, maybe longer, uh, before they finally came to an agreement, decided that they would play. And uh, Snell uh, was one of those people that was on record saying, hey, I gotta get mine. I mean, I got no interest in playing unless I'm getting mine. You know, it's like, okay, that's a fine guy, but you know what? Maybe you ought to just keep that to yourself. <laughs> just keep that one to yourself, but no, you know, it, it, I guess players nowadays, I guess, are just a little more out there about getting theirs. So, and, and they are getting theirs, believe me. Compared to MLB players that now make, you know, 10 times what guys made, um, 50 years ago <laughs> it's a, uh, I wonder if they appreciate the guys that laid the groundwork for them to make the money they make today I wonder at any rate um, so you know break even uh, what Tuesday oh let's see what else we got here for you um, I, 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 I saw Bitcoin hey, does anybody pay attention to that does anybody else have Bitcoin I mean, has a, let's face it, we, we're all gamblers here, and it's possible that maybe some of us have, you know, offshore uh, bookie accounts, uh, and the easiest way to fund said accounts would be through Bitcoin. I mean, is it possible that somebody out there has leftover Bitcoin in a Coinbase account, maybe? And, and, you know, you're in between bookie accounts and you've got a few Bitcoins just sitting there waiting, you know, to fund other bookie accounts. And now all of a sudden, boom, you know, Bitcoin, the value of it explodes. And what was a handful of dollars is now, you know, quite a few more handfuls of dollars. Has that ever happened to any of us, uh, you know, degenerate gamblers? I don't know. Just asking for a friend. I'm just curious. Anyway, uh, so Bitcoin that just keeps going up. Uh, I saw the the uh, you know the shooting in Minnesota. I saw that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Now she is out there on the record now as well as one of her squad 
uh, compadres, uh, Talid from Detroit, uh, Cortez, she's from the Bronx, Talid, she's from Detroit. Both of them now are on record as wanting the police abolished, just gone. No police. <laughs> I mean, come on, Democrats. These are the people leading your party. They're running your party, and they want to just do away with the cops. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, by the way, they want to take all our guns too. So, so when you know a roving bag of a, a band of criminals, thugs, comes through the neighborhood to you know rape my wife and uh, steal all my stuff, I guess I'm not supposed to. I can't call anyone uh, because there's no police, and I'm not allowed to have any kind of real weapon, at least none, not a gun. To defend myself, uh, I was just, you know, getting ready to shoot this video. I thought, well, what would I use? So I just looked around here, just within, you know, the barn immediate area. So I came up with a few things here. You know, we got this. We got your old, uh, you know, to cut down the grass, uh, you know, and for when the grass gets too long for the mower to get through it, which unfortunately it does happen if I'm not paying attention. You know, we got the, the scythe. Whoosh, whoosh, take it off here, boss. You know, I think this is not totally unlike what they might have used in Cool Hand Luke. Uh, also, uh, my Norm Donald impression. I'm death. <laughs> That's a family guy joke. Uh, Norm MacDonald plays death on family guy, so he's got his little scythe with him at all times. Uh, well, of course, we got the uh, show pointer here, uh, also doubles as a three iron, so I can use that. I could get at least one or two of the thugs with my three iron. Um, I'm not sure what this is. You know, maybe the American Pickers can come tell me what this is. It looks like it's an axe of some type, but it's got a curved blade on it. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess if I threw this, like I guess is popular now down in, uh, you know, the rich Montgomery Bucks County area. Uh, you know, here we actually use the axes to do work. Down there they throw them against walls and bars. Uh, I, if I threw this against a wall, I don't think it would stick because of the curved blade. This is actually surprisingly sharp for not being used for 50 years. Uh, and then, of course, we got this, you know, as featured in any kind of uh, mob violence uh, Simpsons episode. Everybody's always got a pitchfork. But how many of you actually have pitchforks? I bet not many of you. Well, I actually have one. Here it is. So when it comes time to storm the Capitol, Joe Biden, I'm ready. I, I, did anyone actually have one of these back in January when the riot took place down at the Capitol? Uh, I, I bet they didn't. I bet they didn't. They should have. Here, you should have had this. So I'm ready next time there's a riot because I got a pitchfork. Oh, I forgot to shut the fucking phone off. I made the mistake of uh, signing up on one on a website last night. I was shopping for something, and they asked for my information, and I foolishly gave it to them. And now they're like, oh, potential sale, potential sale. And they're just inundating me with phone calls this morning. At any rate. Okay, so Wednesday, right? We want to talk about Wednesday and the games. The model, you know, went nuts over the weekend and found some real good games. And now since then, just the stars are not aligning. Uh, so, you know, we don't have any three-star games today. We got a couple two-star games. Um, early uh, Nationals cards. Uh, you got to like the cards coming off that big, big offensive explosion uh, less than 24 hours later, hoping the bats are still warm. We always like to play Wainwright. He's one of the great winners of all time. 
Uh, so uh, not a hateful price, 125. Uh, the Cardinals play well against the Nationals in St. Louis. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead here with the Cardinals. Uh, we like that game pretty well. Uh, you know, what? last night, like I said, I don't trust Snell. And, you know, he pro, uh, uh, I, I don't know if I, I, I told you, you know, the one star on the uh, Padres. So I don't know if I'm patting myself on the back or not. It would have been more if Snell wasn't pitching. And, you know, he blew sky high. He didn't even get out of the first inning. I mean, what the hell? You know, dude, I, in a way, I'm surprised that they didn't just, you know, let him out there. I mean, it, 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 I don't know what to think about that. You know, there were two outs, weren't there? He did get two outs. And then he gave up like six straight base runners and... I think I just would have let the guy out there. You know, it's like, we're not, you're not coming out in the first inning. You know, you're going to throw your pitches. See, I told you they're, they're just going to keep bringing it here. Here, here's an idea. What if I turn the sound off? Yeah, we're getting smart. Get smart. Don Adams, show from the 60s. Probably none of you have ever seen that. Anyway, back to the Padres. Um, you know what? They walked 13 times last night. They walked 13 times and still only scored four runs. That's hard to do. But the fact that they scored 13 or walked 13 times, I think there's some runs there for these guys. I really think there's some runs waiting to be had for the Padres. They're breaking out Musgrove. He threw a no-hitter last time out. That makes me a little nervous that he's just going to have a huge regression game, especially now that he's in Pittsburgh where he just escaped from. And, and, and I don't know, he might just be a little, I don't know, he might be primed to have another huge game and show him what for and say, you know what, I could have done this for you if, I don't know, you know, maybe... Yeah, he, he's definitely a better pitcher than, than when he just left Pittsburgh, I guess. So, at any rate, I think two stars here is appropriate with the Padres. The Pirates stink. I'm pretty comfortable with that. And uh, we'll come see if the Padres, you know what, Pirates, nice win last night. Do it again. You know, I don't believe it. I used to live in Missouri. Show me. Do it again. All right, and then the, just some one stars to fill out the card here. Uh, the model liked the Orioles, and I just was like, oh, Matt Harvey. Jeez. <laughs> oh, so I put one star on that one. I yeah, just honestly, I don't have a hell of a lot of rationale for that one other than the model liked it. Um, the Astros were going great guns, and now all of a sudden, four straight losses two of which to the Tigers. Um, I don't know. I think this is just a game where the Astros bust out, have a big game. The Tigers, I would think, are now just kind of relaxing, playing with house money. It's getaway day for them. They're on an airplane at the end of this game. I just think that they're just kind of like, all right, yeah, I mean, we did what we wanted to do, and I mean, hell, we did more than what we wanted to do. We came down out here to Houston and took the series. Two out of three? Yeah. We're per perfectly happy with that. I don't think anyone's going to get on that airplane down in Houston tonight wearing a Detroit Tiger uniform saying, I'm sad. We didn't get the sweep. I'm sad. I don't think that's going to happen. They're going to be perfectly fine winning two out of three. Uh, so I think it's all going to work out tonight where the Astros are going to get their win. Uh, and it'll probably be bigger than a run. Uh, the Tigers, they won their two out of three. Everybody's happy. That's what we're hoping is going to happen there. And then the Braves, again, another good team that is just kicking around right now, just stumbling all over themselves. Uh, that deal at the plate on Sunday night where they got screwed by the umpires has apparently hurt their feelings in some fashion or really affected these guys because they turned right around and lost two straight games then to the Marlins at home. You know, it, even if the umpires had made that call correctly, and I, I don't even want to say that. That's not correct. 
The umpires did not make that call. MLB made that call. Some gaudy, some unknown person. It probably is Rob Manfred. I assume he does this kind of work. <laughs> he sits there and, you know, makes the replay calls. Because only Rob Manfred could have screwed that up so badly. Uh, so it would have probably almost had to have been him. But at any rate, someone in MLB headquarters makes that call. Uh, so it's not the umpires that screwed it up. It's somebody there in MLB headquarters that is watching the replay that decided, yeah, you know, even though I didn't actually see him touch the plate, I think he touched the plate. So we'll, we'll call him safe. Had they done it correctly, it's still a tie game. You know, there's no guarantee that they were going to win that game anyway. But it's knocked them totally off their pins. I think this is just a get well game for these guys. You know, they're, they're four and seven. They're better than that. Uh, the Marlins are, they're the Marlins. They're a nice, plucky underdog team, but they're not as good as the Braves. So uh, I, I think this is another breakout game for a good team that's scuffling. Uh, and that would be, you know, your good teams that are scuffling, Astros, Braves. I think they're going to score some runs tonight. Uh, and then, you know, our top plays are the Cardinals and the Pirates, and we threw in the Orioles because I don't really know why. Uh, so those are your five games. That's what we got for you. Uh, so let's uh, let's fork let's fork the bookie. Huh. Get them. Let's get them here in the sports barn. That's what we got for you. Good. All good. Um, I suggest you get your hands on these. I mean, once they outlaw guns, uh, these things are going to be in demand. So uh, I. I do, do, are there manufacturers of these in the United States still? Or are these, this thing's probably well over 100 years old, so I doubt it's from China. Uh, probably this was made in the United States. I wonder if the manufacturer of such is still in business. But anyway, all right, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, hit the like button if you want. If you're new, hey, subscribe. Go crazy. Go nuts. Uh, and we'll have more for you later this week. Thanks. Eric Arnold signing off.